What is going on guys? I am Jehovah. Welcome to some Call of Duty Ghost gameplay here on Pharaoh, part of the new Invasion DLC. These maps are pretty sweet. I hadn't played Ghost in a while, but I was jumping on these and I played the Pirate Ship, I played Pharaoh, and I played the Favela remake, and they're all good maps. I was uh, quite enjoying myself, trying to get back into how Call of Duty Ghost plays and trying to be good at it. Um, I didn't do very well. I think I get like 24 kills in this gameplay. Not the best. Uh, it was like my second game on. But anyways, um, I want to talk about what's coming up next week. Next week is E3. If you guys don't know what E3 is, it stands for E3 times, the Electronic Entertainment Expo. And it kind of, uh, you know, I've kind of touched on this before, but it's kind of special to me because whenever I was younger, I remember years and years and years ago watching on TV, TV uh, E3 coverage on like Tech TV, G4, whatever it was uh, back in the day. I don't even remember. But um, I just remember thinking how awesome E3 was and how much I would like kill to ever go to E3. And I was, I was fortunate enough to go last year, I'm going again this year, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. But I want to talk about some of the things that I'm going to do specifically. Well, I guess not specifically. I'm going to check out a lot of really cool games from a lot of different companies while I'm there. I've been uh, invited to a lot of different things. I don't want to say, that's why I say, you know, <laughs> I said specifically, but I probably shouldn't have. Um, I don't want to say too much about any of those things that I'm going to check out while I'm there because I don't know, uh, you know, when you do stuff like this um, with video games that are still being developed and stuff, um, there's a very fine line of what you're able to say and what you're not able to say. And some of those things can come down to, like, you can't even say that I'm playing, I can't even say that I'm playing a certain game at E3. So, um, you know, we'll see exactly what happens. But like I said uh, previously, you know, I'll bring back as much footage and information and everything that I'm allowed to share with you guys uh, that I can. And uh, that will be fun. Uh, along with, you know, whenever we're there. We're always going to have fun together and have cameras rolling during some stuff. We talked about maybe hitting up uh, Six Flags while we're out there or some sort of theme park. I don't know because we did uh, Universal Studios last time and that was a lot of fun. And uh, the videos that we brought back from that you guys really, really enjoyed. So we'd like to do that if we have time. Like I said, it's going to be kind of crazy. The entire time we're there, we just kind of have meeting after meeting after meeting um, and, and checking out different games and all kinds of stuff. So... Uh, but I wanted to talk about um, the next Call of Duty, Advanced Warfare. One of the things that I'm really hoping I'll get to do while I'm there is I'm going to go by the Activ Activ the bleh, Activision booth. I'm going to go by the Activision booth and hope um, that I can check that game out. Uh, I think last year I went by and um, I got in. I got to check out this game as it was being developed, Call of Duty Ghost. Um, and basically what happened is you you get taken back and then there's like four or five different rooms and uh, you have to wait there for a little bit until the previous crowd clears out which is only like nine people at, at once it's not very many people so it's kind of a exclusive exciting thing to be a part of but uh, finally you get ushered into this room and there's a nice TV set up and uh, there's a guy sitting there who presumably works for Activision. I'm guessing it wouldn't just be some guy that they uh, pulled off the street. But he's sitting there and he has a demo of the game. So he had a demo of the single player of um, Call of Duty Ghosts. And he sat there and played it for us um, live and we got to watch and he kind of explained a few things as it was happening. It was really cool. And whenever I got back I made a video uh, telling you guys that in that video I had seen um, a throwing knife. There was an instance in the video where they show a throwing knife being used, and, and to that point they hadn't shown anything um, like online or on or you know any of the previews of the game yet. So I come back and I, I came back and made a commentary and explained that you know the throwing knife was in Call of Duty Ghosts and hopefully it would be online, and it ended up being so. So it was kind of cool to bring that information to you guys. And uh, but basically, yeah, I'm just hoping that the same sort of thing might happen. Uh, for advanced warfare and we'll see what I get to do and uh, and you know if I get to share any information with you guys if I even do get to see anything and we will just see like I said I'm holding out for uh, games like destiny uh, and halo 5 like I said before I don't know if halo 5 is too far out but we will see and there's gonna be a lot of um, a lot of Ubisoft games out there that are gonna be worth checking out and it's gonna be a lot of fun some parties we will be going to some parties um, and by we, I don't know if I said before, but it's going to be um, me, Legion, 
nobody epic and speedy we're gonna be out there hanging out in la for uh almost a week now, i've been working really hard getting a bunch of videos done in advance so don't worry about that there'll be videos up on both the main and the second channel um and i just want to say real quick i've been kind of shouting out my second channel a lot lately but i've been having a lot of fun over there i've been doing some let's plays um uh, I'm, I'm finishing up south park right now um, I've started doing a little bit of Mario Kart 8, which is kind of weird because Nintendo's standings on how uh, YouTube videos for Nintendo games is kind of questionable, and I don't know how that'll play out. But uh, I really hope to continue that if I can. And uh, let's see, what else? I've also been doing some uh, Age of Empires. You guys have been really big fans of that. I got a lot of comments on a lot of my videos lately that are like, bring back more Age of Empires! And uh, so we actually did a session of that last night, me and Sidearms and Speedy against three bots that were on hard difficulty, and that was really fun. I have another Let's Play that I'm planning, but I kind of want to finish up a couple things before I start it um, with Shadow Beats, and I'll leave that title unmentioned. But I will say that we did it back in the day. We only did a few episodes, and then I gave up on it. Um, but I'm, I'm bringing that back, damn it. Um, so, yeah, be excited about that. Maybe ask Shadow on Twitter what that is, but... Anyways, yeah, so that's all that's coming up, E3, all that craziness. It's going to be a good, good time. I also wanted to tell you guys that my controller sponsor, uh, Imagine Customs, is running a sale right now for 48 hours, and it is a really, really good deal on the edge controllers. If you don't know what the edge controllers are, basically it adds two buttons on the back of the controller to where you can uh, do things like jump or use the X function or whatever, and uh, it's really, really cool. It gives you a huge upper hand in multiplayer. But anyways, they're on a huge sale right now. You can save a ton of money. So check those links out in the description and definitely look at those controllers. They got custom Jehovah branding on them. They're really, really sick, and I really recommend you guys pick one up. I absolutely love mine. I use it every day. Also, make sure you use Jehovah, all caps, as a discount code during the checkout process to save an additional 5% off of the already huge markdown on these controllers save yourselves a little bit more money. Anyways, guys, this has been Jehovah. I love you, and I'll talk to you soon.